Hello, welcome to Inner GPS Gurus. Today's topic is Kundalini awakening and happy hormones. It is difficult for you to smile and I can feel that happening with you during your Kundalini awakening journey. Whoever takes my Kundalini awakening consulting, healing and coaching and diagnosis session, whenever I ask them, have you smiled or laughed? When was the last time you smiled or laughed? I really feel bad because the most instinctive function of the smile and the laughter goes away during this Kundalini awakening journey. And that has been the experiences of many, including myself, that you become too much serious and you are unaware of all the happenings, your brain is unaware of all the disturbances or the change in life, life's activities during Kundalini awakening journey. Despite of all the challenges and the suffering that you face during Kundalini awakening journey, you must keep the show on. The show of life must go on because only the brave hearts, only the masculine energy, only the courageous one win during the Kundalini completion journey. There are many people who are going through Kundalini awakening journey in the world but not everyone is able to process the kundalini energy with a happy note you will ask me how can i become happy during my kundalini awakening journey it is so much of suffering challenges at every step not knowing what to do the next moment then how i can process this happy hormone on a daily basis. The dark night of the soul does not end for you and you are hoping for the morning light to show you the sunshine. So let's begin with sunshine. What are happy hormones? The sunshine that you take does it has any relevance to happiness? The answer is yes. When you take sunlight, all the apana in your body is transformed into prana and that happens when you take regular sunshine and this process will make you feel happy because on the body level, on the physical level, you get vitamin D from sunlight. But on the energy level, you get divine energies, powerful heat energy from the sunlight that burns the smoky apana in your system. So for your understanding, I will explain how you can release happy hormones in your day-to-day -day sadhana or the practices that you do during your kundalini awakening journey. It is very simple yet you may find it difficult to implement because there will be resistance from your ego, the maya, the mind that will not allow you to feel happy. As I 
shared with you in my earlier videos that it is a fight between ego and kundalini the ego dies moment by moment and kundalini keeps on killing the ego moment by moment so the constant fight between two opposite energies one is the divine that is kundalini and the other is the devil the ego mind complex so who wins in this fight is the winner in the end it is like a match in which the good wins over evil now understand what are the four men four main happy hormones i will begin with dopamine and i have named it we have named it dose d o s e d st stands for dopamine o stands for oxytocin s stands for serotonin and e stands for endorphin these four hormones make you happy but when when you are doing certain activities you are participating in life in such a way that these four hormones are released automatically otherwise during kundalini awakening the energy is too much the downloads are too much that your brain is in constant stress and it keeps on releasing cortisol though a certain amount of cortisol is required for a healthy body but not the regular or the unending amount of cortisol suppose you are going through kundalini awakening for 10 years so during this 10 years the volume of cortisol released by your body is beyond imagination and the harm it does to the body is irreplaceable irreparable so you must understand that if you want to sail through the kundalini journey you must release happy hormone to keep the balance and also to give you the energetic push to live life during kundalini awakening journey you have to take efforts to make your life normal otherwise it will not happen on its own so you must take efforts to release happy hormones on daily basis through certain activities that you can incorporate with your sadhana with your journey and that will help you a lot so let's start the first activity that you can do to release dopamine dopamine is released first of all dopamine is released when you do some activity or action that gives you a sense of achievement for that you need to have a goal and when you put your efforts and achieve success in that then you your brain releases dopamine so during your kundalini journey if you feel that certain activities and most of the dopamine is released when you do actions that are professional in nature even the small activities day to day activities will help you release dopamine but that sense of achievement should be unique to you for example if you feel that running is an activity that makes you feel like a man or a healthy person then that is a good activity to release dopamine or some exercises doing yoga practices or some movement exercises going to the gym taking care of your health cooking washing your clothes washing dishes taking care of your health or doing some professional work for example if you are a freelancer and you take up projects then doing some completing some projects and getting reward 
as money for that project will release dopamine in you because you will feel contributed because most of the time when you are going to kundalini you are not doing any job you your business is not working but you can definitely do some freelancing work to survive and doing such work on day to day basis will help you release dopamine dopamine is required to save your brain from diseases like alzheimer dementia so make sure that while you are going through kundalini awakening journey you are taking care of your brain by getting involved in activities that releases dopamine the second is oxytocin it is released when you share and exchange love energy you hug someone you kiss your loved ones but since the journey is a lonely journey and most of you are alone not most of you 99.99% of people who are going through kundalini awakening journey are alone during this journey so whom to love how whom to hug if you have someone in the form of human beings a guru whom you feel that the person is allowing you to hug you then definitely you can take a hug from your guru if you are a female and you find some female guru then you can do that if you are a male and you find a male guru you can do that why i am expressing this because you are so much constricted that hugging a opposite gender person may be against your belief system so find someone of the same gender even if that person is a stranger but if you feel like sharing and exchanging that love you are feeling in that moment then that could be a healing process for you if there is no no human being then you should love dogs they exchange love to the highest divine level so go and heal them share your love with them hug them kiss them take care of them play with them in nature stray dogs you don't need to own a dog become the owner of a dog and become and make it a pet dog and then bind it with a chain you don't do that never in your kundalini awakening journey because that is against kundalini's principles kundalini doesn't want any soul to be jailed to be caged so never do that always go and love animals in nature who are free and experience your freedom with them also you may visit age old homes or orphanages and if it is allowed there then you can share and exchange your love with them but the physical touch is not always allowed to strangers so i don't advocate much this idea it must be a mutual consent to hug someone and in this entire journey you get no one in the entire world 8 billion people but you feel lonely alone no human being feels human to you during this journey so make sure that you share and exchange your love with animals you can hug a tree yes that is another way you can hug a tree and feel the love and bonding with that tree and you will feel good and hugging a tree is also an earthing and grounding activity most of your inflammatory energies are grounded that is in you due to kundalini heat process the third is about releasing serotonin serotonin is released when you serve someone my advice to you is you don't need to serve anyone recklessly spending money on others you just serve yourself take care of yourself love yourself unconditionally and your serotonin will be released make sure that from morning till night whenever you get up is your morning whenever you sleep is your night be gentle to yourself 
डोंट बी हार्श ऑन योर सेल्फ डोंट बी दैट स्ट्रिक्ट गार्जियन और दी पेरेंट हु हैज रेज यू टू बी इन अ केज्ड सिविलाइज बॉडी सोफिस्टिकेटेड मॉडल स्टॉप बिहेविंग लाइक अ प्लास्टिक अ रोबोट स्टार्ट बींग ऑथेंटिक ह्यूमन बींग बी वाइल्ड बी बी रॉ एंड जस्ट Do yourself a uh, favor of loving yourself unconditionally, serving yourself good food, cook yourself, cook good food, healthy food, vegetarian diet. Follow a vegetarian diet, and feed yourself with love. And at most, if you feel that you want to serve others, then start healing animals. go to nature and give your healing touch to them when your intention is good your healing energies from the divine will flow through you you are just an instrument you have not reached yet you have not become the parmatma or the super consciousness which happens after kundalini's journey but yes one thing has happened in you you have become a channel through which the divine will flow through you and it will pass on from you to the animal you can watch my dog healing videos how wild or raw i am while healing them i am uh, being becoming a part of them there is one energy operating and the exchange is of love energy highest quality of unconditional love energy and the energy flows and flows and flows so do that for releasing serotonin for releasing endorphin the best is do exercise e for exercise e for endorphin so you can remember this way d for dopamine d for delivery d for determination d for divine goal O for oxytocin, O for owning your love energy, and then flowing it to the other person, person unconditionally. Serotonin is about serving, serving yourself. Endorphin will be released in you if you do physical movement. If you cannot go out, then do some physical movements at home. like brooming your home then doing all the physical activities involved in your day to day life washing clothes cleaning dishes washing clothes not in uh, in your washing clothes in the most simplest human way the traditional way using your hands to wash the clothes will release lot of endorphin in you, in you because it is a muscular muscular movement also you can do some movement in which physical activity is involved in a natural way if you are not feeling like doing yoga or any other physical movements the last good hormone it is actually stress hormone but it does favor to you in a certain way that is cortisol if it is released in good amount then sometimes doing certain activities which poses challenge on you which releases toxins in you doing some active catharsis will free you from the cortisol and it will release happy hormone in you apart from all these activities there are certain activities which you can do throughout your life and that will help you sail through the kundalini journey in a happy way includes cycling swimming walking in nature then trekking but whatever you do put a smile on your face and then do it don't stress yourself if you have any questions regarding 
your kundalini awakening journey whether you are going through the dark night of the soul and you are confused about it still you feel so much sad and depressive that you don't know what to do with your life then you can contact me and i will help you diagnose heal in the session itself i have that power to heal you there to give you shakti path digitally i don't want to term this healing powerful healing as something that your mind knows already those who experience my healing session they cry they laugh they smile in the session itself online and it happens in just fractions of second the moment they get connected to me the healing begins so don't lose this opportunity the divine flows through me to you and i have that power to heal you powerfully so that you are free from the blockages and you can move ahead all right so if you have any questions related to this topic you can ask in the comment section i will reply to that but if you have personal questions then you can i suggest you take up my personal kundalini diagnosis and coaching and healing session that will help you a lot and don't be in the resistant mode that i know so much in front of this power all the ego is baseless you may be in the journey for last 20 years but you are not free yet so keep your ego out aside and take my assistance whatever age you may be whichever gender you may be my powers help those who are surrendered like a student like a learner and they want to take the a drop of this divine energy from me so help yourself be happy and just keep smiling thank you so much have a great day